Who is that strong woman in the mirror? She's actually a mother, a grandmother, a daughter, a niece, a wife, and a widow. When you look in the mirror, who do you see looking back at you? I say this strong mother who will do anything for her children. She'll stand up for them. She will do whatever it takes for them to get where they need to go. Her children know that she is there to back them up. They know that they can call on her and that she will be there. I'm not talking about just being there for silly little things. You know, sometimes they have to actually stand up for themselves. But she has taught them to stand up for themselves. To be brave. To step out of their comfort zone. To understand what they can and can't do. They have become very much strong, independent people of their own. And that's because of the strong woman that's looking back at me in the mirror. Being a widow and going through losing my husband at such a young age with four children, I knew how much I had to make sure that these children grew up to be strong, independent, law-abiding citizens that our country needs. Was it easy? Oh, hell no. It was hard. And they were just like every other teenager's. They would get fines, they'd get pulled up. They even had the police call once. There was a number of things. Yes, they got into a little bit of trouble, but it was never malicious. It was just normal teenage things that we all do when we're younger that shapes us into the person that we become today. Having these four young people in my lives that have been given to me as a gift, I never took that responsibility lightly. Was I a perfect mum? No. And I don't think there is a perfect mum or a perfect parent out there. And if you think you are, well, I think you need to look back in the mirror. Because unlike a job or buying a car a microwave, washing machine, a house, anything that you buy, you get a manual. (laughs) When you're in that birthing suite, there's no manual that comes out with them. And so you learn from others. You learn from your parents, from your partner's parents, from your friends, and you learn how also not to do things by watching others. I think I was a pretty good mum. We had a lot of fun and I was firm. And I'm really lucky that I am my children's best friend. They've got their friends and they go out and do things, but they know that they can always call on me. I am very proud of my children. What the decisions they've made, are they always right? No. But you don't look at your decisions and go, that was wrong. You just learn that, well, that's one way of not doing things. I am very proud of my family and the way they have become independent, strong people. And parents of, of, you know, parents themselves now. So I want you to look at the person that's looking back at you in the mirror. Who do you see? Are they strong? Are they independent? Have they done what they wanted to do? Are there still many goals that you want to tick off? Look at that person and get to know that person. Know what their strengths are, their weaknesses are, and what really makes them tick. I'm Kerry Hortrow, and I hope you enjoyed this podcast.